Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Angelie Walker. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the, the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion and perseverance thank you you may now be seated today is wednesday may 4th 2022 let's rest our minds with a brain break so before you begin your exercise take a moment to check in with both the body and the mind sitting down just take a nice big deep breath breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth a sense of taking on lots of fresh air as you breathe out, just letting go of any distractions and just feeling the mind in the body more present, more aware, more focused, ready to begin. Notice how the body feels, whether there's a sense of energy, lightness, heaviness, discomfort, just becoming more aware of how the body feels, allowing the breath to return to its natural rhythm, opening the eyes again and ready to begin. What an amazing way to start the day. And now for our word of the day. Hey Valencia, you feeling better today? Yeah, my cold is evanescent. Oh, it's good your cold is disappearing so we can finally hang out. Yeah, and now that it's of an essay, we can finally catch up on our gaming. I can't wait. See, See you tomorrow, tomorrow on Word of the, the day. day. What an interesting new word. Now, let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thank you, Angeli. Sports fans, the University of Georgia Bulldogs saw 15 of its players drafted this week, breaking an all-time NFL record for most players selected from a single school. In case you don't know, a draft is when football players get picked for different teams. Because of less popular players getting picked, this event has provided hope for supportive fans of these players and fulfilled a lifelong dream of college football's best players and their families. Now let's head to the kitchen to see what's cooking with Sonia. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch sure sounds nutritious. We have hero sandwich, diced peaches, veggie juice, mayo, and your choice of milk. Scholars, please make sure to let your teacher know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, let's get back to Anjali. I am really looking forward to lunch today. Scholars, Everest Day testing is continuing throughout the week. Today is 4th through 6th grade ELA session 1, and tomorrow we continue with the 4th through 6th grade ELA session 2. Make sure to use your test taking strategies, and I wish you the best of luck. Patriots, the hero store is open. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. Sports fans, today's boys baseball and girls flag football have their last regular season game against Poisnack. Both games begin at 4 p.m. Come out and support. Let's go, Patriots. Patriots, this entire week is Teacher Appreciation Week. Let's make it official by showing appreciation for our sensational teachers. Be creative and let them know you care. The Pines Cheerleaders will be hosting Pines' first ever student versus staff lip sync battle on Thursday, May 19th. If you would like to accept the challenge of taking on one of our staff members in this event, to remember, please see Ms. Stone in room 189 or ask your teacher to reach out. You must choose a school appropriate song and bring your own props. We look forward to seeing what the students of Pines can bring to the battle. And finally, Patriots, get your lab coats ready because Science Day is almost here. Science activities will be happening in all classrooms on this exciting day. Fifth grade is this Friday, May 6th, and 8th grade is Monday, May 9th. 5th graders can dress up in their best science gear to avoid paying $1 dress down. Sounds electrifying. Now, let's see what the weather is going to be like today with Randy. Good morning, Patriots. Look forward to a nice and warm 88 degrees Fahrenheit with scattered showers. 
In other weather news, have you ever heard of a partial eclipse? If not, I'm here to tell you all about it. A partial eclipse is when the moon travels between the sun and the earth, making it look like someone was hungry for some vitamin C. For this to happen, you need a full moon and the perfect angle. And if you look closely, it looks like a cat. Now let's go to Joshua for today's birthdays. Thank you, Randy. Today's birthday boys and girls are Chelsea Pierre, Malachi Campbell, Marquise Chaney, Omari Figueroa, and Mariam Govaria. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Andrew. Thank you, Joshua. Patriots, here are your Pat's expectations. It represents, present yourself positively, act kind towards others, treat those schools and my respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners. Congrats to Miss Only, Miss Dankwa, Miss Shadid, Miss June, Miss Blanc, and Miss Newman. You all have the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was, how many ribs are in a human body? The correct answer is 24. Now, teachers and scholars, here is today's trivia question. What is the world's biggest island? Teachers, please send your answers to Renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced in the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. And don't forget, this year we're all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day and may the 4th be with you.